Hey everyone, so I've got all the major smartphones I've released so far in 2016. Uh, all the flagship devices, so I'm going to run a benchmark and see how they stack up. Alright guys, so running in to do simultaneously on all the phones. So now most of these have pretty similar specs, uh, with the exception of the iPhone SE, which is uh, an A9 chipset and 2 gigabytes of RAM. Most of them have 4 gigabytes of RAM and a Snapdragon 820. Although the OnePlus 3 does have a little bit more at 6 gigabytes and the X Performance has 3. So here on the table I got the HC10, OnePlus 3, Galaxy S7 Edge, uh, the Galaxy Note 7, iPhone SE, the Xperia X Performance, and the LG G5. Galaxy phones seem to be doing pretty well. Uh, I do expect the Note 7 to perform the best. Maybe the OnePlus 3 will do very well as well. We'll see. Alright, so about halfway through the test. All right, and now two thirds done, almost there. Looks like the iPhone may be the first one to finish. iPhone at 80% right now. Alright, an iPhone just about done here. Of course, finishing first doesn't necessarily make it the best, but is at least a good sign. Alright, so the iPhone SE Alright, so this is lower than usual that I get, but a score of 122,000. It is pretty hot in this room, not sure if that makes a difference. Uh, also not sure if running everything at the same time makes a difference as well, because they are actually seeing the Wi-Fi. Well, 
Yeah, usually for the iPhone, I see I get around 125K. All right, and a very impressive score, 143,000 uh, for the OnePlus 3. Ooh, 144,000 for the um, Note 7. I think that's going to be the best. 136,000 for the LG 5. Same score as the um, S7 Edge. 130. Uh, a little bit lower than I usually get, but 130,000 for the X Performance. And the same for the HC 10. All right, guys. So again, the iPhone SE last place score of around one twenty-two thousand, close to one twenty-three. Uh, HTC Ten and the Xperia X performance around one thirty. Now I have done this in the past and I've gotten higher scores on those, but uh, one thirty-six thousand for the LG Five and the Galaxy S Seven Edge. And then clearly the two winners here, uh, the Galaxy Note Seven. Oops. Yeah, crazy score there. And just slightly below the OnePlus 3. So let's go ahead and look at the rankings a little bit more in depth. See, they're both far listed as number one. And details. So yeah, guys, these are the two best smartphones currently on the market. Again, 6 gigabytes of RAM on the OnePlus 3. So yeah, guys, simple test. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe if you aren't already for more content like this in the future. And as always, thanks for watching.